Hi there and welcome to another action figure review. This time we'll take a look at Hopgoblin from Marvel Legends Space Venom Build a Figure Wave. And here we have the figure inside the packaging, clearly visible. And on the back, the other figures from this Space Venom Build a Figure Wave. And these two figures, in my opinion, are some of the best of this wave. Hopgoblin is a 6 inch figure and here is a size comparison next to Mesco's Mortal Kombat X Scorpion figure and Marvel Legends Spider-Man on the right. And also a size comparison to SH Figure Arts Captain America from Age of Ultron. And they are all in the same scale even though Hopgoblin is the largest of the figures. For accessories we have the glider here in a soft rubber material and not very detailed at all. Then we have an extra head. And that's a very cool accessory. It gives the opportunity to have two different looks for the Hobgoblin. Then in translucent orange or red here a firebomb and finally the head for the builder figure. And here we have Hopgoblin on his glider and it would have been cool to have a figure stand or something to get him in the air. So let's change Hopgoblin into his other look. You can remove the cape and his back as well if you like, but there's no real reason for that. So just pop the extra head on the figure and then we have the more demonic look. And both of the heads are actually pretty cool, with great details and a very nice paint job. And speaking of details, let's take a closer look at the figure itself. The figure is almost entirely in blue and orange and the blue with a scaly look. The sculpt on his gloves and boots and especially the cape is, in my opinion, really cool. The cape and his hood gives the figure a darker look. And also the red eyes and the teeth are very nicely sculpted. The articulation is also pretty good. Head can move from side to side and look up, not so much down, double jointed elbows, the arms cannot move that much compared to other Marvel Legends figures. But he can turn and he can lean forward and back here and his legs also have a great range of movement. Double jointed knees, turn here at the boot and ankle pivot as well. So it's pretty easy to get some cool poses with Hobgoblin. For now, I'll leave you with my opinion about the figure, and then I'll sum up this review. I'm not too crazy about the details of the glider and we could always dream about further accessories but all in all I must say I really like this Hopgoblin figure, the classic Spider-Man villain with the accessories, the extra head and the details, the sculpt and the paint job. I just like the look and the possibility to swap the heads. Thanks a lot for watching, leave a comment or subscribe if you'd like to see more.